Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Tony Linux here, and in today's video we're going to cover prescription lenses for your VR headset. How they work, how to install them, and whether or not they're worth buying. What did it cost? Everything. It's not going to cost you everything, but we're going to get to that. I will also be giving you my recommendation based on the research I've done, so instead of you spending hours vetting different companies and looking at tons of reviews, you can spend that precious time on more important things. You know, like, uh... Thank you for calling Wendy's, how can I help you? <laughs> Hi! Is this... <laughs> is this Wendy? <laughs> no, but this is... <laughs> Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I'm calling Wendy. <laughs> If you wear glasses, contact lenses, or just want less strain on your eyes while using your VR headset, then you come to the right place. And do share this video with friends or family that could use this information, they may thank you for it. And like always, if it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more VR content like this in the future, and to be automatically entered into the monthly VR game giveaway where I pick one random subscriber at the end of each month to win two Oculus or Steam VR games of their choice. Congratulations to last month's winner, William Bush. All right, not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get to it. So how do they work? For prescription lenses, they work just the same way your contact lenses or glasses work. They allow you to have a crystal clear VR experience without having your contacts dry out or your glasses getting squeezed from the limited eye room in the headset. And as you can see with the width and size of my glasses, wearing these while playing my Oculus Quest 2 isn't even an option. Installation is simple. The VR lenses will have detachable rings that fit around the headset's lenses. With the magnetic points sticking out, you just push them in until you hear a pop. You don't remove the factory rings already attached to the lenses, like what's recommended you do when installing the glasses spacer. After the magnetic rings are installed, you can now easily place and remove your lenses within seconds. This feature is handy if you're wearing contacts and you want to play your VR without struggling to remove them. Now, there are tons of manufacturers that offer these lenses and whichever company you do go with, just be wary of which ones use 3D printers to make this product versus the companies that use mold sets. A general rule of thumb is molded pieces will always hold up better and longer than cheap PLA plastic 3D printed ones. And after doing a lot of research on companies that make these, Based on quality and feedback, I went with VR Wave. They ship reasonably fast, have amazing reviews, make lenses for almost every major VR headset on the market, and offer more features than the other companies I've researched. Plus, you only need to provide the prescription details. You don't need to send a copy of a doctor's signed prescription, so it's less of a hassle. And luckily, VR Wave also gave me a coupon that my viewers can have. Use the code TONYLITIX and you'll receive 5% off your entire order. Now, are these worth it? My honest opinion, if I can go back in time and make only one purchase with my Oculus Quest 2 headset, I would have waited on the upgraded head strap, the cool headphones, the fancy skin, the bulky case, firm controller grips, this stick of deodorant, and would have immediately bought these lenses. And I say this for a few reasons. The first is they surprisingly doubled the resolution. Of course, they don't actually change the resolution in the headset settings, but the clarity is so much better with these on to the point that I now prefer to take my contact lenses out just to play my VR. This is because VR headsets, like the Oculus Quest 2, use high magnification Fresnel lenses in order to take a screen that's this close to your face and allow your eyes to focus on the image without the blurriness you'd normally see if your smartphone was an inch away from your eyes. Unfortunately, a high magnification glass lens would require a super bulky thickness in order to match the appropriate magnification the user would need in order to see what's going on in the VR games. And with that excessive amount of glass comes with an excessive amount of weight hanging on your face. The Fresnel lens allows the VR headset to have super thin optics and a very lightweight design. The negative thing about the Fresnel lens though is that it contains steps of magnification instead of one giant slab, 
But like mentioned before, this is designed to cut down the weight and size of the lens. But with those cuts, you can actually visually see these as rings in the lens. These rings cause a lot of peripheral blur and leave only a small point at the center of the lens known as the sweet spot. Now, when you put these VR prescription lenses on the headset, it broadens that sweet spot so your eyes no longer see those rigid lines you normally see if you're looking up or left or right. So overall, these lenses really change the visual clarity within the headset by a huge notable difference. The second reason is because my eyes would constantly dry out while playing with my contact lenses in. This would force me to take off my headset, adjust my contact lenses while in the middle of a game, which gets really, really old really quick. The third reason is, while optional, you can add the anti-glare and blue light filter coating on the lenses before checking out. As you may know, blue light from electronic devices messes with your circadian rhythm by signaling your brain to wake up when it should be winding down. It takes as little as two hours of exposure to blue light at night to slow or stop the release of the sleep hormone melatonin. So blocking out the blue light will prevent that negative side effect from playing your VR. And of course, the glare causes eye strain, which can lead to migraines and blurry vision. So cutting that out as well will greatly increase your playing comfort, not to mention your eye health, which is important, especially if you want to keep playing your VR. If you aren't a contacts or glasses user, you can order a plain zero prescription set of these with at least the blue light filter added, if not both that and the anti-glare coating as well. You will immediately notice a big difference in comfort. So at the end of the day, are these worth it? Yes, yes, and yes. I will be sure to leave a link in the description down below so you can make possibly the best VR accessory purchase for your eyeballs. And don't forget to use the code TONYLYTICS at checkout to get 5% off your entire order. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you got some value from this. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up to help support the channel and hit that subscribe button down below to get more content like this in the future. I'm Tony Lytics, and until next time, happy gaming.